Hello everyone! For this video, it is a Koro Koro chapter review. I purchased it. Uh, obviously, I cannot show it in uh, the video. If there's any publicly tweeted uh, manga pages, then I think that is pretty fair game, considering the fact... I'll probably just have an image of the cover as I talk about it. That is fair game, because that is public, and also it is one page, and I think if I show one page in a video, that is enough for fair use. So the one thing I want to correct first is, and I don't blame anyone for getting confused. No, I'm not going to say whoever made up the thing, but there was originally, I think it came from a video or whatever, where it made up the idea that Greatest Raphael has metal teeth. It does not. Now, the gimmick on Greatest Raphael is basically when it activates his gimmick, uh, metal burst stoppers, basically. I actually have the scan. I'm going to look at it right now. Basically, when it when the thing uh, pulls up, it's basically going to like activate like little stoppers there, so it's going to make it really, really hard to burst. So, for a lot of those that were confused or whatever, no, it does not have uh, metal teeth. And I don't... Listen, I was so confused when people were talking about it. I'm like, what? No, what are you talking about? It is made up. I don't blame anyone, you know, information sometimes can be confusing, you know, it's fine. For the people that got confused, it's fine. I hope whoever originally put out that misinformation, they, like, either delete it from the video by trimming it or whatever, because I, I, misinfo. So for the chapter itself, uh, this was actually pretty good. Uh, now, the manga has pros and cons. Cons are obviously going to be pacing. Pros are sometimes how they write characters in certain arcs, but uh, Hiro Morita does an amazing job with the art that he does and really does deserve a lot of praise. He's a very good artist. And some parts in the manga you really wish were in the anime because it makes the anime a lot more full of life and like actually good. But. Uh, I will probably have only one page, and this is only going to be the cover page for the video and for the thumbnail. This is, of course, uh, I think pretty fair. I'm only showing one page, and it's been tweeted out publicly on the official account. So, fair enough game. I'll probably just put up the tweet or whatever. So I do have some notes to go over. So, in the previous chapter... Listen. <laughs> I won't lie to you, the way that they have how the rankings work and the champion work is, is really dumb. I made the assumption, I, I don't know if I said it or whatever, but now it's technically happening, but... Okay, so Rashad is number one in the world, but Volt is the champion. Now to me, it only makes sense that if you were number one, you would also have to be the champion. I don't know why they don't just have it in the ranking then. That if you are number one, you are also the champion. That would make the most amount of sense to me. Because why else would you... It's, it's weird. It's weird. I think it would have made more sense. But whatever. They, they have that thing. So the world championship actually starts. So this is basically... They're setting up Volt as this obstacle for them to actually go and defeat. So Volt is the champion. And they have to defeat him. Now where have I heard this before? <laughs> oh yeah. It's basically the plot of the first half of Cho Z. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, Naiga wanted to be, I think, the best in the world, but it is pretty funny. Uh, so, Bill, uh, basically, he has like a little goofy outfit, and then after he takes it off and he has a normal outfit, and people are booing at him. Uh, I don't think Bill is that liked. I think it's just for his reputation as a demon king. Now, I will actually get into some cool stuff that the manga does definitely better than the anime, which, for starters, they actually sell better the whole Demon King thing with Bell than what the actual anime has. Like, the anime, we had the one episode at the start, but really, they don't really sell him as, like, oh, he's the Demon King or whatever, right? Like, in the manga, there are a lot of times where it becomes really kind of, like, vicious, and there's especially one part when uh, later in the chapter I'll get to, but... Uh, yeah. So Rashad does debut, so Rashad and Basara just have their new outfits. So this follows in line with the anime. Now Rashad uh, is really loved by everybody. He's like thanking everyone for their support and everything. And his main goal, and I like this, is to defeat Volt. That is his main goal. He, so uh, I'm gonna get to one part that they do really, really better that sells Rashad more for me in the manga than the anime, but uh, 
Yeah, he basically declares that whatever, that his era has begun or something along those lines. So, I think the anime has like some title like Supreme King or whatever in the anime, and also there's like the Demon King. Uh, so, uh, oh, also, he sees Basara. Basara's a new outfit, so Basara left to, to go to Rashad, and Belle's really thrown off. I thought that moment was kind of like, oh, that's really... I don't know if, did we get that in, I don't know if he got that moment in the anime yet, but dude, the manga sells it real, like, dude, Bell is really sad that Basara left, because Basara was like a friend to him. Uh, and then after the battle begins, and you have this really, really cool moment when it is Bell versus Rashad, when, when he launches the bay, they don't do that thing where they already reveal the bay that he's using. When he launches the bay, everyone's going, wait, what? He doesn't have Valkyrie anymore? And uh, Rashad, and, he, and this is kind of like wrong, I'm not gonna lie, he's like, oh, I abandoned Valkyrie to be like a, the stronger or whatever. I think it was some idea, so obviously, like, I, I think he wants to like, kind of like throw away the respect or whatever that he has towards Valkyrie, and he wants to like, surpass that, and that's his main goal against going against Volt. Like, he just wants to be better, and he wants to do it, I guess, in his own way. And I think it makes a lot more sense in the manga that Volt beats Rashad, and then Rashad gets motivated to want to be better than Valkyrie. Because in, in the anime... <laughs> so in the manga, they had that. In the anime, it was literally just, oh, he beats Bell, breaks his bay. Oh, he sees dangerous, makes, the, makes his bay. I, I prefer it much more in the manga. When he loses to Volt, he's motivated, makes Neil Bay, wants to surpass Volt. So Bell still has Dynamite Bell Yell with all the completed gears. And yeah, it's slapping around Belial. I wrote that down. Oh, and I believe what is it? Uh, the, the KO happens. Whatever. I'm pretty sure it was it. Yeah, so he manages to KO Rashad. And dude, Bell actually turns on like demon eyes, and he has like more sharp teeth or whatever. It's really cool. And when he activates his bay, and he basically explains the whole gimmick. Bell is getting really, really angry because he keeps so Rashad keeps on like insulting and taunting him, and Bell's getting more and more angry, and he has a little bit more of a demon look. Now it's really just the eyes, and I guess the teeth, but it really sells it. And he's going like crazy, and Bell's eyes completely white out, and, he, and it's like this evil energy or whatever. Because he's getting really upset and angry. And then after he got so angry that he didn't realize that Belial completely gets shattered by Greatest Raphael. Because the gimmick already activated. Because he kept on hitting it. The gimmick activated. It broke. Rashad is happy. Bell is sad. So that part is pretty much the same. But, you know, it makes more sense to me how the manga did it. Because in the manga, Rashad views himself as a hero. And he views Bell as like the villain that he wants to defeat. So another thing too is that when he is upset, so this is when you actually even get a character arc uh, going on with Bell, which I hope the the anime does not have it absent. But he's really sad and he's really worried because of the fact that since Basara left, he's worried that Ranzo and Hannah are also going to leave his other friends. And you know, you get a really nice moment with his uh, what is it, his grandpa. And he tells him that even if everyone hated him, he still loves his, uh, grand, 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 whatever, grandson? Yeah. And we also get a flashback to when Bell made Bell yell. So it's more, it's, he's mostly questioning why does he have the title of the Demon King, right? Why did he have that title? Because when he first had Bell yell, Bell yell was a demon. He wanted, I guess, to be a Demon King or whatever. And I guess it's like the idea that you don't have to have that title to a blade. He wants to be a good partner uh, for Belial, and then after he makes his own bay, and he makes dangerous Belial. So the big difference here, actually, that's very important, is the fact that in the actual thing, in the actual uh, anime, Bell made dangerous and Rashad made greatest. But in the manga, Rashad made greatest and Bell made dangerous. Thanks uh, for watching uh, the video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. And again, I will try to do my best. Eventually, I do want to do a manga versus the anime a little bit in depth. And then after, say, which one do I think overall did better? I'm going to spend time, but I do want to cover Sparking and eventually DB. 
And yeah, Hero Marita has amazing art. I can't wait to actually get uh, the new volume, which I believe is November. But uh, yeah, bye.